welcome screenwriters to this comprehensive tutorial on Writer Duet. In this tutorial, we go over the basics so you will master the software and ready to write your next script. Let's get started with Writer Duet. So start by creating an account on writerduet.com or if you have downloaded the app, just log in. And you, it should look basically like this. And to open a new file, go to File, New Project. Or you can hit Command N for uh, Mac. Uh, enter project name, let's say tutorial. Uh, first document template. Here you have different uh, options. And now we just hit the screenplay and just create. Okay, let's look over the interface of Writer Duet. So this is basically this where you will write your screenplay. Here you have some uh, different, if you want to change it to shot, to transition, dialogue, uh, character, action, outline, new act, stuff like that. And if you want to change it to bold, and then you have, you can add comments and they will appear up here. And then you can go to the car section and then go to different projects. And then you can even have your own goals. So to count like how many pages you're going to write for a day. And over here you can change if you want to have like the cards or if you want to have mind map. Uh, let's go back to the script or you can have it like split uh, to two sections to look over it on both sides uh, and you can have even have the mind map so the sky is the limit you decide for yourself uh, and you can just remove them if you need to if you want to change the title um, page you can go to project and then go to title page now it's named tutorial uh, since I named the document uh, tutorial uh, but you can change it whatever uh, written by Maria and you can just type whatever name you have and then go down and address phone email uh, that's pretty it and you just go up here on the top to go back to your document you can customize your layout by simply going to view customize layout and this one will uh, up here, here on the left. Um, but I haven't really used this before. You can like change the classic, hybrid, or so you see how it changed. Uh, I used had hybrid, uh, but I think you can change it whatever you like. And I haven't really used this that much yet, but that's for another tutorial. Okay, you have all been waiting. Let's talk about formatting. Uh, let's go back to line types because this is where you will uh, work around and um, get into the formatting and you can see like it's a little bit of red line here that means you are on the heading uh, and just by hitting I N T, you see you can get I N T interior exterior then hit there it comes up pops up automatically interior kitchen kitchen day and hit enter you go down and you can see like this, these are a bit more gray. That's not uh, picked, but this one action is actually picked. So you can see that um, that one is the, you're on the action se uh, section. Uh, so Maya walks into the kitchen. And if you would like to change this to something else, let's say it's a dialogue for some reason, you can hit dialogue and the formatting changed, but this looks a bit weird because I don't have a character before. So let's move forward. Uh, hit enter going down and then by hitting the tab, you will get to character Maya and hit enter going to dialogue. Hi, my name is Maya. So you can see like, like how it's really making the process really easy by just moving forward in the text. Hit enter, you get into another one and you can change it to, if you need another heading, just write INT and it will appear as a new scene heading. Uh, let's do exterior actually. Uh, house. Uh, 
So if you want to have a uh, page numbers and you don't have it, simply go to production, scene numbers, and this one will appear. Um, and you can see here page numbers. So this one is um, shown, which means if you go down, you can see that you actually have Oh yeah, page number two. And if you go back to production and then see numbers, uh, you can go, if you want to change to have like the numbers uh, on the by the headings, you can simply check this one, see number. And then you can do all these different settings. Uh, I usually don't do that, but you see it there. And you can see on the set, uh, headings that you have different numbers on there, if that would be helpful for you. Another great feature is the revision um, uh, tool, uh, and you, you use uh, the revisions to be able to track your changes. If you like write a new uh, something new, and then you want to track it so you can show it to a friend, or if you want to remember what you did, uh, you can simply go to revisions, um, accept, react, view, track, date, writers, mark, change. So hit view and track and you can do this like new revision and then you can hit your name Maria uh, and you can create and create and this is what fa um, color you will have uh, oh not that so you can see here and um, then you sit down. So if I write something, uh, Maya goes to the mailbox, you can see how it turns blue. So it will be easy for you to remember what changes you did. If I would like to write uh, something now that doesn't have, um, that like the blue text, uh, view and track, I can click this out uh, and write something like Maya walks walks yeah, yeah you get the sense of it and let's talk about the cards so if you go to the uh, cards and you will add something here let's say uh, exterior uh, store night I can spell today night and then you will go back. You can see how it appears here. So if you are by here and you're brainstorming in the beginning, like different uh, scenes and what's going to happen, you can basically brainstorm over here and it will appear on the screen. And then you also have the mind map where you can move stuff around uh, and you have this link to each other and you stick um, add a card over here and write interior uh, library night and you get the library over here as well um, and over here as well so you can play around with all these different uh, pages and see what you like to work around with. So collaboration in screenwriting is key um, because it will, and Writer Duet will help you out a lot if you want to uh, work with someone else. Um, so simply go to share and hit share project. And here you can enter um, an email address for someone to be able to edit. edit. Uh, admin read only and if you want to like get feedback you can send this to a read through uh, and gather the feedback on, on the same place uh, the cool thing with sharing your project with someone is that you can easily uh, give, give yourself different colors so you can see who wrote what uh, and go back to revisions view and track and then you can write like Maria and then now I will be blue 
hit create and then I will have one for Michelle. Let's pretend we are working on something and she could be red. Hit save and then just create and we both will uh, appear here. And uh, the important thing though is that if Michelle, uh, I will only have view for her so I can see her changes, but she will have it like this basically. Uh, view me and uh, let's go back like that so we will only see each other's uh, and not track because we will only track ourselves <laughs> basically uh, and let's say i write something uh, sorora oops sorro runs so i will appear re blue and on her computer she will appear red but she can still see me Hey, if you like this video, please consider subscribing, add a comment or hit that little notification button so you don't miss anything. And I'm happy you're here and thank you for watching. Let's continue with the tutorial. Don't forget to save your project. You can go up to file and then go to save or hit command save. Uh, and hit save. And then you can also export. If you go back to file, you can go up to export and then you can export in different formats, PDF, final draft. Another cool tip I will show you is uh, the keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to explore them, you can go up to help and then go to keyboard shortcuts. And here you can see done both for, um, I mean, if you use a Mac or a PC. Uh, so let's try some of them out. On Mac, it's super easy. Uh, you can use uh, try this out yourself uh, by hitting command and then a different number. Um, like command two is action. You can see how action changed there. And command three is character. So let's say Maya. Uh, command four is di oh, not dialogue, the parents brackets uh, command five is dialogue command six is transition command seven is shot command eight is text so you can speed up your process by simply using these commands and like I said go to help and then go to keyboard shortcuts and you can study all of this and you could I mean I wouldn't use all of these, I guess. And if you don't like shortcuts, you can use go here or use to hit enter and tab like I showed you before. Okay, so I guess my memory card was full, but mm, I guess that happens. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. And if you want to, if you want me to add anything new, uh, like a new tutorial on Brighter Duet, please add a comment below and give me suggestions and I will try to make it. And I love to explore different uh, softwares and try to make the screenwriting easier. So I hope, I really hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.